Welcome to Fun and Games Side Quests. Every episode is a different host sharing a video game they love and why they love it. Hello, I am John Warren. I am the head of Fanbyte Media. And I want you to imagine, if you will, you are nine years old. You go to the Dave and Buster's in Dallas, Texas, the one on Central Expressway. And you go into the deeper part of the Dave and Buster's, the one past kind of the big ski ball like games, the really specialty products that Sega would typically make or a few of the other major arcade shooters. You know the ones with the, all the peripherals, and you've been to a Dave and Buster's. You go further in, and there were the fighting games. And if you go into a Dave and Buster's now, you'll find like the mobile version of Injustice or something, and you know, maybe a Tekken machine, maybe. But in the mid '90s, in 1994, fighting games were a really major part of the arcade scene, and. I was completely entranced by a machine by AM2 and Sega called Virtua Fighter. And I absolutely, I, I gave that machine a lot of tokens. Um, my mom had to drag me away from it, basically kicking and screaming on multiple occasions. And I loved the variety of fighters. And it was the first real experience of a 3d modeled fighting game i had played i immediately fell in love with it it had a real sensibility of something that i was super super in love with at the time and that was professional wrestling and a lot of the throw maneuvers that uh these characters were using were reminiscent of popular and also kind of you know exotic to me wrestling moves that came out of japan and i didn't have a lot of experience with Japanese wrestling at the time, but I loved the fact that this game about martial arts also incorporated these kind of wrestling moves and the, the animation was amazing and oh my gosh. And I was a Sega kid. I wasn't a Nintendo kid. Um, I did have an NES, but I, I, I when, when we went 16-bit, I was a Sega Genesis kid and liked it fine. But then when it came to the 32-bit, I had to choose, right, between Saturn and PlayStation, and I made a choice that I think I would ultimately regret, but we'll get to that later. Uh, I, I chose Sega Saturn, and it was mostly, mostly on the back of the fact that I was completely obsessed with Virtua Fighter. And so I begged my parents for a Sega Saturn uh, for my 10th birthday, which was July of 1995 and I got it and I got Virtua Fighter and of course I loved that and I also got Panzer Dragoon and all that stuff and and I loved the Sega Saturn but it wasn't until the winter of 1995 for Christmas that I received Virtua Fighter 2. There aren't a lot of games that I love as much as I love Virtua Fighter 2. Uh, Yu Suzuki and AM2 were really 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 hitting on all cylinders they knew exactly how to evolve the fairly simple three button scheme of virtua fighter punch kick and guard they knew how to translate that into a more robust system with virtua fighter 2 they expanded everyone's move set they made everyone's move sets feel a little more different they made the characters feel a little more uh, uh, unique in terms of how they played. They had new characters, including a drunken boxer named Shun Di, uh, who could do all sorts of stuff. And like when he drank more and you could make him drink on the fly, um, he could do wilder moves. There was a, a character that did this kind of mantis style crouching uh, martial arts. The graphics completely blew me away. In the original Virtua Fighter, you had these very plain models. They were kind of cool, but fairly expressionless and fairly devoid of any detail. And the leap from one to two in terms of texture quality and kind of the emotional capacity of these characters' faces and bodies and clothing, night and day. 
completely different situation. And I gave so much of my time uh, to Virtual Fighter 2. It had modes that I was completely in love with. There was a mode in which you could basically just uh, turn the computer on and have fights just be going on in the background. You didn't have to input anything. It would just randomly choose two fighters, have them fight each other, and then go at it again. I used to just turn that on when I was doing homework. I know that sounds weird, but it's like I just wanted Virtua Fighter 2 on all the time. Um, <laughs> and it's it's still actually a really important game, not only because I think they really got it right that time, and when they moved to Virtua Fighter 3, they did a bunch of stuff really differently that was fairly unpopular. And when they went back to 4 and ultimately 5, the foundation they set in Virtua Fighter 2 is kind of the foundation on which all those later series, except for three, were really built on. And that's where they actually had the most success, not only with competitive fighting that you would see in EVO, but just a better home experience. Virtual Fighter 2 was really the perfect encapsulation of Yu Suzuki's fighting model. You would see a lot of that sensibility in games that Yu Suzuki eventually made, like Shinmu another game that I think is very good uh, that you should play if you haven't. But Virtua Fighter 2 was really the basis of a lot of Yu Suzuki's uh, you know, next ideas about combat, about action. So this game was an incredible revelation for me. It is part of why I ultimately wanted to be in video games because I feel like it was the first time I recognized craftsmanship in every way the music the sound effects these all played in perfect harmony all these character designs were perfectly realized i think for the first time it seemed like the true final draft of what yu suzuki and his team tried to do with the original virtua fighter i got really close to spending way too much money on a Virtua Fighter 2 arcade machine lately, uh, recently. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't for a few reasons, but I'm also kind of, I, I, I will tell you this. I at least created a brand new Facebook account because I deleted Facebook. Finally, I, I created a new Facebook account in order to go to the marketplace and basically check in on a Virtua Fighter 2 machine. I love this game. If you haven't played it, there are opportunities all over the place to play it. You can play it uh, on uh, Xbox Live Arcade or whatever the hell you would call it at this point. That You can play it in uh, versions of Yakuza. It's in those games. Uh, I, I can't. I don't think it's in the newer ones. The newer ones actually have Virtual Fighter Five in it, which is really amazing. But in some of the Yakuza games, you can go into uh, one of the arcades and play it. And they know it's good. It's all over the place. You can find it in a bunch of places. You should definitely play it. It does hold up. I think it's better than Tekken. I don't even know why I have to bring that up. Tekken's fine. Tekken's fine. But Virtua Fighter was my first love. Virtua Fighter 2 is the perfect distillation of what I think Yu Suzuki and his team were trying to go for. And it's the mid-90s. You've got this amazing pounding techno bass in some of uh, the levels. You've got really amazing cheesy uh sound effects when someone hits like a metal floor you've got the you've got the boss you've got the boss draw who is just a liquid metal being um and you can see the genesis of them trying to play with light and reflection uh in her skin and which didn't really work until three but it's still they they made it work uh there's a port called virtua fighter kids where everyone basically looks chibified but it's basically just the virtua fighter 2 engine in that game uh which is a a, a blast by the way everybody's got little story things fmbs that you can uh they, you know endings uh so when you beat the game you you see a little cute ending the other virtua fighter games don't have that so Virtua Fighter 2 was really the first uh, jumping off point for a lot of really, really good ideas that Sega had and Yu Suzuki had. And I cannot wait personally for a new Virtua Fighter game. I know nothing. I know no inside baseball. I hope that the Ultimate Showdown version of, of uh, Virtua uh, Fighter 5 that just came out did well enough to get another Virtua Fighter game made. But I'm, I'm just crossing my fingers at this point. Anyway. 
the quintessential mid 90s 3d fighting game is virtual fighter 2 i absolutely adore this game it's one of my favorites of all time i still play it on a fairly regular basis and i think you should check it out if you're at all a fan of fighting games maybe you missed it maybe you're one of uh one of the younger listeners of side quests and you're like well i like 3d fighting games tekken 7 is pretty dope Play Virtua Fighter 2, and you can see the genesis of a lot of really amazing ideas that eventually translated to not only further Virtua Fighter games, but a lot of other 3D fighting games. <sighs> thanks for thanks for listening to me talk about Virtua Fighter 2. Uh, I'm John Warren. Again, I'm the head of Fanbyte Media, and uh, happy gaming. Video games are a unique medium. They can tell stories. Immerse us in strange, fantastic worlds. Blur the very boundaries of our reality. But at the end of the day, video games are fun. Whatever fun is to you. I'm Jeff Moonen. And I am Matt A.K.A. Stormageddon. And on Fun and Games, we talk about the history, trends, and community of video games. It's a celebration of all the games we play and all the fun we find within them. And there's so many more games out there. So we hope you'll share in that conversation with us. Fun and Games podcast with Matt and Jeff. Find us on certainpov.com or wherever you get your podcasts. And happy gaming. CPOV. Certainpov.com.